Welcome back to another video. It is Wednesday. It is week five. Excuse the state of me. I am once again ill. Um, so I spent the bank holiday weekend with my family and my sister, her husband, my nephew have all had a bit of a cold recently, especially my nephew, like he's really been not been too well. And I spent the whole weekend basically with them and the rest of my family. And I mean, I didn't get, I mean, I, I held my nephew for a bit and stuff, but I didn't get too close to any of them because I knew they'd all been a little bit under the weather and stuff. And I thought I'd escaped it. And then yesterday morning I woke up and I had a slightly scratchy throat. And I was like, hmm, this isn't good. And as the day went on, I just got progressively worse. Before I went to bed last night, I was like, my nose is completely bunged up. My throat is hurting. This isn't good. So I took some like night medicine. It was a night nurse medicine that they do, which is horrible, but it does knock you out. And I was hoping if I took that, I think I went to bed at like half eight. Um, barely any sleep last night, like kept waking up, unable to breathe because my nose was just completely blocked. My throat was really dry, it was not good. Um, so yes, woke up this morning, my whole body aches. I'm not feeling too tired now that I've kind of cracked on, done some work and stuff. Like I feel a bit better now that I've kind of gotten into the day. Um, but my, I took some like cold and flu tablets this morning and they wore off around lunchtime. Forgot to take any more until about half an hour ago. So I think they're now starting to kick in again, but like my head started to thump again and my joints just ache so much. So that is exactly how we want to start week five, obviously. I'm not too concerned though. I'm just going to take my session slower today. Um, squats are being pulled back anyway, so that's fine. Bench isn't anything massive that's being pulled back. It's just heavy deadlifts really, which to be fair are probably the lift that I'll probably manage the best on when I feel like this. Um, I don't know how I'd squat super heavy with my joints feeling like they do. Um, so yeah, just going to be kind to myself, take it easy. I've had a really productive day so far though, to be fair. And like, yeah, it's going to be fine. I'm just trying to have a positive attitude, but I'm just fed up of getting ill. Like I've been so like, I don't know, it just seems to keep, my immune system used to be so good, like if you watch these videos regularly you will know I've been getting ill like every other training block, if not every training block for a while now and I just, I don't understand it, like my immune system used to be so strong and so good and it's almost like as I've become a healthier person I've eaten more like vitamins, minerals and like taking care of my health more than anything else, it's almost like I'm getting worse and I'm probably completely wrong about this but I swear it's since we had the lockdown in 2020 and we all shut away for months and obviously everyone was wearing masks and germs weren't spread as much. Genuinely think since then I've just gotten more and more like my immune system has just been shit. Like it's not good. Probably just like conspiracy, whatever. Um, and I'm not complaining about the lockdown. I actually had a lovely time in that lockdown. It was like the most relaxed summer of my life. Um, and I had like great time with my family and stuff. But anyway, I'm rambling. Essentially my immune system is just non-existent these days, I think. But it's fine, I'd rather be ill now than the block into comp, so it's all gonna be okay. I was literally contemplating not training, that's how rough I felt when I woke up, but I'm gonna get through it. I'm not gonna obviously skip a session, it's me, it's not gonna happen. If I feel worse tomorrow, I'll probably miss my accessory day tomorrow and just wait until Saturday's training again, but that's something I'll decide on and I'll probably speak through in the next video, depending on how I feel. Um, but yeah, I've been, I'm in a calorie deficit still, so I'm still on two, just over 2,000. I have increased my fat slightly um, this week, um, oh yeah that's one thing I had a new low weigh-in of 85.9 so when I said I want to start this final week of the block like high 85s low 86s I was 85.9 on Monday I think it was um so that's really good anyway rambling body weight is where I need it to be so what I might do if I'm not feeling great tomorrow is put my food up slightly for a few days just help me recover a little bit more um but my movement's been a little bit lower to be fair like I haven't been going for as many walks and stuff but well the last couple of days I haven't walked as much so I felt a bit rough so it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go to my parents' house and train. So let's see how that goes. I'll be there at the after party. Show up looking like a zombie. It don't matter, nobody stop me. I'll be there, just tell me where. Trying to keep it going to be continued Or am I trying to lose good and I came over now I don't think I want to leave at a tough week Gotta realize this is what I need Don't got the time to be counting sheep It's too late, I'm in too deep Don't want to contemplate, overcomplicate this 
And I made my choice, wanna see what's going on I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, I'll be there I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, just tell me Tell me when Ay, oh no Mama got a shit I love so Pierce the jugging, this is my only answer Yeah, my body keeps telling me go Wanna be stacking towers from downtown I'll be on a roll Money soaking, it's a rush hour This, that, overtime, champagne shower Step back, skip lines, yeah, I'm never going cold Oddy, oddy, go ahead, I'll your job Don't wanna contemplate, overcomplicate this and I made my choice, wanna see what's going on I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, I'll be there I'll be there at the after party Show up looking like a zombie It don't matter, nobody stop me I'll be there, just tell me In my pocket, please don't make me pop it All these boys just wanna copy the style Tell them niggas stop it, whoa, whoa It's my destiny for the like Latoya Like it found me my Beyonce And she shotgun in the cockpit uh, Grinding with the team, make it seem Okay, so as you can see, session is done um, I didn't film recaps as I was going Basically just because I was really tired um, My parents were about as well And it was just like, I needed to just get it done um, So because I have like no energy Like I'm fatiguing really quickly Which is kind of expected with the way I feel um, like I, it is a cold, but like my, my body's been aching and everything has just felt like a lot of effort today. Like I've just got very little energy. So I kind of decided to come into the session and just kind of preserve as much energy as possible for deadlifts because deadlifts were like my main movement today. So like it's my primary deadlift. I needed to save that energy for them. Um, and I could definitely tell like with squats, my 160 for three. So normally this would be a set of six. And I definitely think I could have got a set of six, but I think with how I was feeling, it would have been max effort. Um, but I mentioned in the last video, in order to practice tapering for Saturday so that I know what to do for comp next block, I wanted to pull this session right back on squats. So I did one set of three rather than a set of six at 160 to get me accustomed to the weights and the load still, but not to basically build up any fatigue or minimize fatigue as well as I only did one back off set of seven at 142. Um, and the 160 for three was comfortable, like it was fine. I think I did kind of lose tension at the bottom of like every rep to be fair. But one thing I will say 
I kind of felt like Bambi on ice. Like I felt a bit all over the place when I was squatting, like it didn't quite feel natural. Um, my 142 for seven definitely felt a bit smoother, but on that set, like I was fatiguing really quickly. Like I would get to the top of the rep and where I would normally like my muscles would have a bit of a break in between the reps. It's like the tension and the pressure was just building and building Like my quads were on fire and my legs just felt tired and I felt like I wasn't recovering at all. Um, so I'm glad it was only two working sets of squats, like two proper sets of squats. The 160 triple was fine. Um, and then the 142 for seven was fine. Um, bench was okay. Bench is the one that when you are, when you are unwell, it's going to feel the worst. Like it's just matter of fact, like it's the most easily affected by things. Um, the 110 was supposed to be a three count, but it definitely wasn't. And my butt definitely came up for that as well. Um, but it's fine. I still like it. It was fine. It wasn't the end of the world. Like I'm still going to be fine for Saturday session. It is what it is. And then I kind of knew that my back offs probably weren't going to feel as smooth. Like I was supposed to have a very comfortable four by six at 100. But I kind of assumed it probably wouldn't feel as comfortable as it normally does because I was fatiguing so quickly. So I did two sets of six at 100, which were OK. And then I did two sets of six at 95, which, to be honest, moved about the same. Um, I definitely think I could have just gone on and done all the sets at 100. But it wouldn't have been worth it because the whole point of today is pulling back to save energy for squats and um, bench on Saturday. So I had to make the conscious decision to just kind of cut back. And the other thing as well I think is important to mention is because my energy levels are so low and I am feeling so rough, I purposely didn't try and get hyped for squats and bench. Like I just had a podcast on and I was just really relaxed between the sets when I was getting under the bar. Like everything was very minimal hype very calm very relaxed because I knew that if I was trying to force that energy and that focus then by the time deadlifts rolled around I would feel terrible and like I said earlier deadlifts were the main thing for today so my plan for deadlifts was actually just supposed to be three sets of two at 180 to 182.5 depending on how things felt but I did have in my mind I would quite like to do ascending sets again same as I did at the end of last block where I managed a 180 triple um I wanted to just sort of see where my strength was at a little bit more with doubles so I went for 180 for my first set. Now with deadlifts, I must admit, I had like a 10 minute break between bench and deadlifts. So with squats and bench, I literally did one then the other. Um, but I did have like a 10 minute break before I deadlifted just to give myself a chance to get a little bit of energy back and just like breathe for a second. Um, and then for deadlifts, I did put some music on that kind of helps me get in the right mindset, helps me like hype up a little bit. And to be honest, as soon as I put the music on, um, it, it worked. Like, my brain just switched on. I felt ready to go. I did my first warm up set, which was just a double at 120, and it flew. Like it felt like an empty bar. And that was when I knew that deadlifts were going to be fine if I just kept the right mindset and just cracked on. Um, so I did 120 for a double to warm up, and it was absolutely fine. I jumped to 145, again, absolutely fine. Then I did 165 for my last warm up, which was so comfortable, and it was beltless as well, which I was a little bit nervous going into it doing it beltless, but it moved incredibly, incredibly well. So from that moment, like my warm ups felt a lot stronger than they did last week. Um, so I knew that I would be fine for my at least 180 doubles. So I did 180 for the first set and it was a, a little bit slow, but it was fine. Like there was definitely more room in the tank. So I went to 185, which again, it was fine, but I felt my positioning break down a bit more on the second rep and I started to lose grip at the top. Um, but I was like ego lifter. <coughs> Yeah, ego lifter like refused to not go up again and I was like oh, I want 190 I want 190 I want 190 but I knew 190 wasn't there for a double so I was like I'll do 187 I'll do 187 for a double I've got it it's fine even if I just have to take time between each I didn't have it and I think I knew I didn't have it the fact that my technique even if 185 was like slow if my technique hadn't have broken down on the second rep I think I probably could have gone up but it's a sign to me when my technique breaks down that I shouldn't go up like that's max effort or close to max effort and obviously I'm fatiguing very quickly being ill so I probably should have just left my ego at the door but I'm bad at that so yeah I did 185 double which my, my comp max is 182.5 I am feeling like death I barely slept last night my energy levels are non-existent 185 double after a 180 double like, I think I could have pulled, like, 195 to 200 today for a single. Like, I felt so strong warming up. Um, so, do you know what? I'm I'm happy. It is what it is. Like, for a 500 total, I think I only need, like, a 192 deadlift. And I want at least 500 at comp. So, I know I could pull 192 like, 
off a taper absolutely fine so yeah their lifts were a win i am happy with how they went as much as like i'd have loved to pull 190 for a double because that would have been a really good confidence boost like it doesn't really matter um the only other thing that happened as well is i had my first ever callus tear i have cut it off now didn't realize it happened at the time i literally just went indoors to go like wash the chalk off my hands and i realized that like all the skin lifted on my hand so yeah i don't know if you can see it from here but first ever callus tear so that means i'm officially a deadlifter now so that's pretty cool um yeah that's kind of it for training i'm gonna be honest there's not a lot to say like it was an okay start to week five it was never going to be the best start to week five because of how i feel but deadlifts were fine i got a pb that's the main thing with deadlifts um i'm feeling confident like my i didn't even think really about positioning like one thing i've been focusing on a lot of deadlifts lately is my positioning but today it was like grip and rip and my positioning was good so i know for comp i can just grip and rip and go like that's like so that's a good thing to know I have still got a couple of questions to go through, so where people have sent them in. So what I'll do is I'll pack up the gym, get myself home, and then I will answer a couple more questions that I will have. So I will see you when I get home. Okay, so question that I wanted to answer in this video, I probably won't answer more than just one, just because I feel like I want to get in and eat and get to bed. Um, because I need rest. Since driving home, I can feel myself going downhill already, which is exactly what happened last time I was ill, which again was at the end of, I think it was last block, possibly the block before, but I think it was last block. I did my Wednesday session, obviously pushed deadlifts, and then that night I just deteriorated and I felt like shit for the next two days. So I think it might be a repeat of that this time, which sucks, but it is what it is. I know I can, like, in terms of, like, from a training perspective, obviously it's not sensible to push through training when you're not, you're not well. Um, but I'm stubborn, and I also know that if I pull my accessories back, which I'm doing this week anyway, I can get through these heavy sessions and I'll be fine by next week, like, so it's not a problem but yeah i know like if i just switch on i can push through however shit i feel and get done like tonight's deadlifts i made sure to save my energy for deadlifts and it was fine and like saturday it's squats and bench i know i can save my energy for that and just kind of hype myself up where i need to um anyway yeah so the question i was asked was about my thoughts on protein intake the advice seems to vary massively from like one gram per kilo of body weight up to two and a half grams per kilo of body weight so I stick to the rule of thumb, really, of one gram per pound of body weight. Now, the actual rule, I think, is meant to be one gram per pound of lean body weight. Um, but I think it depends on the person. So power, I mostly work with powerlifters and obviously with myself because I train hard and I train year round. Um, I tend to just stick to one gram per pound of body weight. So for me, I think, well, I think I'm slightly below that at the moment, to be fair, but that was only because I wanted to, well, I wasn't too fussed about dropping it slightly. Let me check. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so I should be on around 185 grams of protein, which is pretty much what I sit at most of the year. That was what I was at in like my surplus and stuff. At the moment, I'm technically on 175, but that does kind of range up to 185 so that's fine but yeah so what i was going to say was that was a lot of ramble i generally stick to the rule of one gram per pound of body weight for people that train if you either just work out leisurely or you're not really training and pushing yourself too much or just kind of doing it for fun and or you just like generally exercise and you're not training like you're not like an athlete kind of thing or you wouldn't class yourself as an athlete or working like an athlete you probably don't need quite that much and you probably are better off sticking to the one gram per pound of lean mass um, but it depends on your goals like if you're cutting you're better off sticking to that higher end but yeah as a general rule of thumb one gram per pound of lean body weight is fine so that's 2.2 grams per kilo um, if you want to do it in kilos it's just a good rule of thumb to stick to if you are really really heavy you don't need to force in that much protein. Like, say you're 250 to 300 pounds. I feel that's not really, really heavy, but you get my point. Um, you don't need 300 grams of protein a day for 300 pounds. Like, you can probably get away with, like, 220. Um, it just depends on you. And also, some people can't stomach that much protein. Like, some people do struggle to stomach more than, say, like, 200 grams of protein a day. Um, it just depends. So, yeah, general rule of thumb is just one gram per pound of body weight. So, 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight, I feel like my voice is starting to go, also feel like I didn't explain that very well, um, yeah, it's the easiest rule to stick to, and then you can adjust it according to how you feel, like, if you feel like that's too much for you, bring it down a little bit, if you feel like it's not enough, you can go up a little bit, and if you're cutting, generally speaking, and you do, like, if I have a lifter that's trying to cut, I would probably go slightly above that, maybe to, like, five to ten grams above that, just to help preserve as much lean mass as possible, but it 
it depends on the person it depends on how much they train how hard they train how many days a week they train and a number of things but yeah that's my kind of take on it that was a much more long-winded answer than I probably wanted, but I think people expect that of me at this point, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment any questions that you want me to answer as well. I promise I'll be a bit more succinct. Is that the right word? Succinct in answering them. Um, I feel like at the moment I'm just a little bit delirious. Like I feel so rough, but I'm kind of trying to deny that I do because I just don't want to spend the next two days feeling like crap. Like I want to feel good, ready for Saturday. And I think I will be fine by Saturday. But yeah, I'm just not looking forward to trying to sleep tonight without being able to breathe through my nose. Um, yeah, rambling. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you if you've made it this far and I will see you on Monday for the next one. In my pocket still full of green, call it CeeLo Alligator watch on me, Tim Tebow And these haters love to watch me like Tebow Look, I don't take L's, I just learn a lesson Before I count the M's, always count my blessings Look, I'm too sure, never second guessing Got some money put up for the rain, so I'm never stressing